Well, Andre, first of all, congratulations on the victory. Uh, after the fight in there, you said you weren't quite happy with the performance you put in there. What specifically were you not happy with this win? First time to go the distance, man. I had a, I had a hundred percent finish rate, and I was really, I was really proud of that. You know what I mean? So, ah, uh, man, I was so close on that guillotine. So I'm just kicking myself right now. But, you know, the the silver lining is that I, I proved to myself what I'm what I'm made of. You know. Did that that hundred percent finish rate? How much? How important was that to you leading leading into this? It's like the whole reason that I got into martial arts was to be able to, you know, put a motherfucker to sleep. You know. Was it just? Was it something he was doing? Was he just that tough in there? Did he surprise you with anything? I think that I got uh, I got wrapped up in the striking, which, you know, I, I've been working on a lot. I've spent a lot of time working on my boxing for these last two fights, really, and. Uh, you know, I, I kind of, for what it's worth, I got away from my bread and butter, which is the grappling. And, you know, by the time that I got back to it, I had, I had exerted myself a lot in that first, first two rounds. I was going to ask, in the last fight when you fought Nick, you were very proud that you took him down to his world. Obviously, a lot of the, the narrative with this is he trains with Glover, he trains yeah. with Alex Pajeda. So in the back of your mind, you're like, I want to show the crowd that I can also strike with this guy too? Uh, it was more so the fact that, like, I was battling a couple injuries during this camp, and I wasn't able to spend as much time in the grappling as, as I had in the past. And you obviously called up Bo Nickel again. After yeah. The fight. Are, how confident are you that the UFC will actually look into making that fight? Uh, I, honestly, I don't care. Like, if, if he doesn't want to fight me, uh, it, it is what it is. But, you know, he's going to have to shut his mouth and stop talking shit, you know what I mean? Because if not, like, I'm going to see him eventually, you know? Have you run into him in person at all recently? <laughs> I, I, uh... I had ran into him at a, a a fight in Philly, but that was before, before he was, you know, saying some disrespectful shit. <laughs> Gerald Merchard also tweeted that you called him out too when he had yeah. a gif of like someone sad walking down the street. Is that a fight that you still be interested to? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I know that. Um, I think he's booked for next week or two weeks. Uh, it might be January, you know. And uh, you know, he called me out after his last fight, so. Um, I tried, we tried to get that booked, but he, he wanted more time. So, uh, you know, and then Wellington's name came up and it was on this card that, that I really wanted. So, um, yeah, you know, I, you know, I'm down. Yeah. And DC was saying a story that you're one of the first people to have like a grappling match yeah. or something. What exactly was that? So in 2013 was the first, uh, NCAA, uh, event here at Madison Square Garden. And we wrestled, uh, we wrestled Missouri. So uh, they flipped a coin to see what weight they would start at, and it was 184. So, I mean, I'm going to tell. I'm the first ever wrestling match here. So, yeah. That's my story. Congratulations. <laughs> Just over here. Yeah. Uh, you said, obviously, previously that you've been calling Bo out for a long time and yeah. you keep saying no. You also said that you wanted to prove that you're the best grappler in the yeah. division. You know, if they do match you up eventually, how do you think that goes down? Uh, so I never really thought that he would fight me, but I thought that he would accept it for a fury grappling, which is what I wanted. Um, but I just think I'm too dangerous on the ground for him. Uh, it, I'm, I'm, I welcome the challenge for sure. You know, I know how good I am against the best in the world. I, I train with literally the best fighters in the world at Marquez MMA and Daniel Gracie. So, um, yeah, I, I know where my, my skills lie and my abilities, and I know how much I believe in myself. And in terms of time frame, when are you looking to get back in there again? Um, I mean, I would like to get a couple a couple injuries checked out, but uh, nothing serious. Uh, that March M March looks great. I know uh, they're going to London. That would be, man, like if if MSG if fighting if M in MSG isn't like at the top of my of my list of uh, you know to m my bucket list, then the O2 Arena is definitely up there for sure. Is traveling something that you would, you know, like to do to be able to go to the different cities? Absolutely. Um, you know, ever since I was a little kid, we, we traveled for wrestling. And um, I, got, I, like, I have such, I'm so hungry. Like, I want to do everything. Like, I want to I wanna travel the world. I want to fight the best guys. I want to have the best experiences. Like, I have such an appetite for life that, like, you know, going to fight in the O2 arena, like, I'm like, absolutely, that sounds amazing. And of course, if you can't get Bo or, or Gerard, uh, you know, obviously for March, is there anyone yeah. else in the division? That so, you someone in the top 25. You know, I think it's time. Uh, 
I think I've been brought up right, and, and I, I have had good matchups. Um, but I think I think it's time. I mean, especially if if I get a new contract, I'm I'm certainly ready to fight guys in the top 25. Absolutely, um, my striking is is where I'm really confident in it right now. My grappling, I'm really confident, in, and I, I just feel like I'm ready for that that level. Congratulations. Thank you, Andre. One, one more. Uh, what if they add Hamza to the division? Is that something you'd want to? <clears throat> absolutely. I, I want to I want to test myself against the best grapplers in the world. Yeah. All good.